Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with another video today. Oh my gosh, what's that? Four? Holy moly. I hope you're not sick of me yet. Well, I guess if you are sick of me, you're not watching this video because you've already been Lindsay overloaded. Oh, well, anyway, I got a, uh, a, um, a note from a blog reader who wanted to know if I'd ever heard of the Ink Tents block printing kit and what I thought of it. And I'd never heard of it, so I investigated. And it seems to be some fun foam, a stylus, a spray bottle of water, and some Ink Tents blocks. And I'm telling you, I want them, and I wanted another excuse to buy them, but I thought I would try it with things I already had because I have more coloring mediums than anyone probably needs. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I was able to do with my gelatos and um, some fun foam. So here's a little example. I think it's kind of cute, um, as is this and this too. So these are all from block printing plates I made with fun foam. Um, so here I cut this with a, a pair of decorative edge cutters. And um, I'm just going to just kind of draw with a stylus. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can find, hold on, I'm gonna find a ballpoint pen because I think that will show up better. Ah, we're cooking with fire now. Here we go, we got a ballpoint pen. I think this is probably better than a stylus because you can actually see um, what you are doing. And I don't really know what I wanna draw. Let's see. Um, oh, I don't know. Let's just make a design, I guess. Um, start, I don't know. I'm just drawing some shapes here. You can do whatever you like, really. Um, I kind of like to have backgrounds, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. And then I will go over this with a stylus to make my colors show up more. This is really freeform and crazy. And let's see, maybe just some stripes over here. I'm just doing something quickly because I want to um, just want to have an example for you. Um, if you don't have fun foam, a styrofoam works really well. Just be careful not to nick it with your fingernails. That It picks up every single um, little impression that you make, the styrofoam. So just keep that in mind if you're going to use that. But it works really well. And I usually save some styrofoam food containers for that. All right, so and now I'm just going to go over it with the uh, bigger end of my stylus. You can find these in the um, craft store or the art supply store, usually where the toll painting supplies are sold, like your decorative painting and stuff. That's what I have mine from. Or if you have like a clay tool that has um, like any small ball end tools like that, you can use them as well. And the ballpoint pen might actually be enough. I know when I do, um, when I use foam, like uh, styrofoam to print make, the uh, pencil or a ballpoint pen is plenty. And I'm just gonna go over this. I don't even know. I might leave. I might leave some undone just to see if that picks up on its own. Um, and I think maybe I'll switch over to a larger stylus and make some dots inside those dots I made. So this is actually take two of this video because I don't know what happened. Oh, it was a little long. I thought <laughs> uh, it was seven minutes. I guess I'll just upload whatever one is shorter. <laughs> Somebody asked me if I. Uh, I should speak a little clearer for my non-US viewers, and that is such good advice. I really should. I get all wound up working on something, and then I completely forget that people are trying to listen to me, so I do apologize for my craziness. All right, so now I'm going to color this. What I'm going to do is spritz this with water. Hopefully that ink is uh, not water soluble. I didn't think about that. Ooh, hindsight being what it is. Always 50-50, right? 20-20. No, 20-20, not 50-50. <laughs> oh, Lord. And I'm just going to go over... Um, with my gel sticks. These are gel sticks that I'm using here, but I do have a, I have a combination. This is gelato. They're really fun. Uh, like a little pink maybe. Oh, no, no. I'm going to use this. Blue, round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. I just want kind of a watercolory soft look and maybe a little yellow. They call me mellow yellow. No, they don't. Actually, maybe green. I like that. That's a little better. I, you get really light colors and it's hard to pick up on camera. And I want to make sure you can see the crafty goodness that is about to unfold. Um, maybe we'll go in with a little bit darker purple and do these little, oop, some of these little shapes here. I, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Not just talking to myself. Okay. So now, oh, look at that. I didn't bring any fresh paper over here after my last video, so we're going to use the back of this print. 
And um, in the Derwent video, the lady used a brayer over the back, but I think this works really well. And there, we've got our little print there. Let me, um, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to spray this, and I'm going to, I'll print on the back of this one, which isn't totally pristine, but let's see what a second generation looks like. Again, just using water, and that's, that was a print from the other video right there. And that's very light and watercolory. So, you know, there's some examples. You can cut, you know, smaller little stamps out of fun foam, make yourself some little custom stamps. Very easy to do. Great way to use up those scraps of fun foam. And uh, here are some other examples. This video did come out a couple minutes shorter, so this is the one I'm going to upload. Whoa, extreme close up there. Um, and well, there you have it. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, you can do multicolors. This was a little flower here. I don't think you can see. Maybe this one was those waves. I haven't washed that plate yet, but it's a lot of fun. I hope you try it um, before you decide to buy the printmaking kit. And, you know, I'll let you know if I decide to get the blocks. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, happy crafting.